Leon have won their last 13 away matches. Oh, there might be an opportunity here for Von der Donk. And Mala tucks it in. And the seven time Champions League winners are off and running. And it all came because of that rather unfortunate ricochet of Zijotti, but Von der Donk unselfish. And there was Melvin Mala with his composed a finish as you are likely to see. He played five times in the Champions League last season, including both legs in the quarters. Defeat to Paris Saint-Germain, which hurt Lyon so much. Mala, Basha, they're really looking dangerous here. Away, and it's Forrest Macario! What a finish! It's a super goal from a player who is in red-hot form. And Leon are already showing that they mean business once again in the UEFA Women's Champions League. It was poorly dealt with, really, by Gavitz. That's not a good header, but what a strike. It's like half the Leon team. They really have crowded that six-yard box. And it's led to a third goal. And it just gets better and better and better for Leon. And it could well be an own goal. Corner was swung in venomously from Basher. And it is off the head of Stina Larsson. Buchanan was in there. <laughs> she will take the credit. No foul, ball was won according to our referee, who had a pretty good view of it. Nice bang. oh, look at that! That is sensational! As soon as it left the boot, this was flying into the corner. Little turn away. Oh, you will not tire of seeing that. Sensational goal. And what a way to start this new adventure for Hoffenheim. Around the bolts. The message would have been half time to his players. Well, here comes Bieler and the chance to make it two. Give her a chance, and that is exactly what she can do. Nicole Bila, their top scorer from last season, and they have punished Kirk big time here. Great pressing from Corley. And Bila is never going to miss, was she? And Corley. Villa. Oh, might just be catching Marquis out! Goodness me! How about that? Just watch this. And scrambling back, Caitlin Marquis, who has had a fabulous game tonight, but. Wonderful vision. In comes the corner, flicked on. And is it to be another one? It is. Duquesne has got it. Well, she had a goal ruled out in the first half. This one will stand. Oh, the scrappiest goal of the night, but they won't care. It just fell nicely to her. <laughs> Tina Decaney. <laughs> just 
playing away. The time here. Oh, they might be in for another one, and they are. They will have the final say on the match. And Tina Decaney has another one. And Hoffenheim strike five. And that will be the final play. And they have wrapped it up here. Tina Decaney on song again for a second goal of the night. And Hoffenheim with a bruising victory over the Danish champions, Kurt. Schwala. Deas. Here's Oshuala again, takes a shot, punched away. Now on the follow up, surely. The first goal goes to Barcelona. Mariona Caldente opens the scoring. And you've got to say it was coming. They were threatening. They were pushing. You have to be first to it, first to react, and then first to react to the ball when it comes off the goalkeeper. Zinsberg is not any chance with that. That second ball that comes out, you have to be the first as a defender to get on the end of it. And Russell have actually defended quite well. One lapse in concentration and not following in. Oh, no, Caldente is not going to miss from there. It's going to Barcelona have had seven shots on target. I think it's 17 altogether. Here's Oshuala. Also, we're asking for the offside flag, but she keeps on going. There's the second. Alexia Pideas just slots it home for Barcelona to double their lead. I'm not sure, it'd be interesting whether that was offside. It's a great run by Oshwala. Always a player, and it's usually Pideas, and she's so cool and calm when the ball arrives at her feet. And Barcelona have just been completely dominant in terms of possession and chances in this first half. And it's like they just strangle teams. They're quite patient with it. They're quite happy to score. Well done, Tate. Here comes Asasad Oshuala. She's going to go one-on-one. -on -one. There's the third for Barcelona. It just looked too easy within minutes of the second half beginning. Asisat Oshuala causes more pain for Arsenal and they've got their third goal. Her dynamic and the runs that she makes and Jambiti made the decision to step up. And as soon as she did that, she was on the back foot and she was never gonna gain that in terms of the pace of Oshuala and then she finishes and she's really improved the game. Oshuala the last few years, as you've seen her in English football, that sort of finishing is absolutely top class and she is a complete centre forward now and is a worst. Tobin Heath is looking to potentially just be going to get the curl on this ball. Sends it into the box. Here's Arsenal get a goal back as well. Marnham with the touch on that one. It was a perfect delivery from Tobin Heath and Marnham was on the end of it. Could this be a way back into the game for the visitors? And they were always going to be strong on set pieces, and that's about the delivery. Somebody, anybody, could have knocked the ball into the back of the net. And you have to be good. If you've got the shirt for this Barcelona team, then you have to perform, and she's done so tonight. Lika Martins will pick up this loose ball. A little bit of a nudge in the back. Lika Martins! For Barcelona. She came on as a substitute and instantly makes an impact. And Barcelona are flying now. It's quite a high line. She timed a run to perfection just behind Williamson and then great touch inside. So difficult to then defend against and really composed finish. Exactly what we'd expect from her. She's been sat on the sideline throughout this game thinking she wanted to come on and make a mark on it, and she's just done so. A great finish. Lundorf. Into the final 10 minutes of the first half. There's an opportunity, the flag has stayed down, and Juventus have taken the lead. 
Ariana Caruso it was with the volley. They've been knocking at the door in this first half. Ines Pereira. Beautifully weighted ball. That is a superb technique. The appeals for offside were in vain. The flag stayed down. The net bowled. Lundorf. Staskova. Staskova trying to feed it through. There's the opportunity for two. And there's the goal. It's Lena Hertig who doubles Juventus' advantage. Bonfrantini was in acres of space at the bottom of your picture. Lena Hertig pulled away, found the space. She was played onside. One touch and then a composed finish. Once again, the goalkeeper Ines Pereira appealing for offside. Once again, the appeals were futile. And Lena Hertig. Oh, that's given away in a very dangerous position. Shot comes in from the substitute. What a strike that is. A third for Juventus, and it is Valentina Sonoya. Juventus are enjoying themselves now. She picked the ball up in space, a couple of touches to dig it out from underneath her feet. And then it arrowed into the bottom corner, always curling and spinning away from the despairing dive of Ines Pereira. Andres. towards Navarro and she's there again and she scores two bites at it but the result is the ball in the net and Real Madrid have their very first goal in the UEFA Women's Champions League group stage a moment that she will never forget causing problems here one of the smallest players out there It just fell nicely to her. And in it goes. Gayoro. Kachawi. Crosses it towards the penalty area. And it slips into the back of the net by Khalifi. A lovely controlled finish. When it came out of nowhere. Kachawi with the pinpoint cross. The lead. A lovely controlled finish by Leah Khalifi. And the perfect cross from Karchawi. Illishtet. Well, Gayoro is going to pick this up at the second attempt, brings it into the area, takes the shot on it through the legs of Ibar Scottish and into the back of the net. A really well taken goal by the PSG captain Grace Gayoro. And finally, in the dying seconds, PSG have secured the points. But it did indeed go through Ibar Scottish's legs. Rather cruel on a goalkeeper. All her players were streaming past her for that quick counter attack, and as soon as she had to, she didn't have that option, had to slow it down and come back out. She didn't have too many options, and Sam Kerr was lurking as well. What a lovely ball here from G to Sam Kerr just to dink it over. It's gorgeous. What an opening goal for Chelsea. And who other than Sam Kerr to get the opening goal? It's 1 0. There's been space in behind this Wolfsburg back four time and time again. G had time to have a look up, pick Sam out. She did great to stay on side. Got the right side of the defender. And a really great deft little dink over the keeper by Sam Kerr. But they've been threatening. There's been a few balls over the top. A couple of new signings for them as well. Big ball over there, and the pressure's on, and here's an opportunity of an open goal for Wolfsburg, and they've got one back. 
completely against the run of play. Oh, my word. Wasmut took advantage of that. And Chelsea elapsing concentration. And Wolfsburg have an equaliser. Just a long ball in by Oberdorf, not dealt with by Magda Eriksson or Ann-Katrin Berger. Well taken by Wasman, but really poor communication there. One of the players, Berger or Eriksson, must commit to that. I mean, Berger had that covered all day. That is a dangerous ball for Berger. Here's Roth, will take a shot, Gerard! Wow! Wolfsburg take the lead! Jill Roth with a spectacular goal to put the visitors ahead. Melanie Lupos coming back towards her own goal, a player right up behind her. Difficult ball to play there, really difficult. Put herself in all sorts of bother and a fantastic finish by Jill Roth. What a finish. Really trying to disrupt Chelsea's play as soon as they get the ball. Oh, Wasmut chasing this ball down, gets the better of Carter. Here's another chance. Oh, it's gone from bad to worse for Chelsea. And it's another goal for the visitors. And Wasmut gets her second of the evening. Berger there. Well, you can see, though Wasmut did well, put some pressure on. Jess Carter really having to turn on the pace. Must make sure of that. It was always going to be a difficult angle. But really, Chelsea are their own worst enemies, aren't they? I mean, credit to Wolfsburg, great finishes. Wasmuth, great pressure here, fantastic finish. Really calm under pressure. Corner comes in for Chelsea. Header in, strong header as well. Curve there, still good. Chelsea have got a goal back. Is this the goal they needed to get back into the game? That first goal from Wolfsburg in the second half. Great ball into the far post by Gura Wright. Melanie Lucas, free header there. Plenty of Chelsea bodies. Serve Kerr Pinilla harder. Nice ball from Ericsson to find Kirby. In goal. Harder into the box again for Chelsea. Could this be it? It is! Fantastic for Chelsea! putting pressure on the defender there. Dominic Janssen will be so disappointed.